This is huge for so many communities because this is the first time they had the opportunity to participate in the most lucrative investments out there. Mike Walsh and Oren Michaels. Now these names probably don't ring a bell, but in 2010, they each invested $5,000 into the seed round of this brand new company calling itself a Uber cab at the time. Name kind of sucks. Super glad they changed it. Obviously the team wised up and we know the organization as Uber. So let's fast forward into 2019 when Uber went public. That same $5,000 that they each invested was then worth, pay attention to this one, $24,827,400 each. Yes, they each took $5,000 and turned it into $25 million over nine years. That is an amazing and outstanding investment by any measure of the world. Like Bitcoin who? So many people dream of having a lottery ticket type payout like this, which leads them to do things like play the Mega Millions or the Powerball. What they don't know is that you're literally thousands, yes, I said thousands of times more likely to guess and pick the right tech unicorn, and unicorn just the name for a startup valued over a billion dollars. You're thousands of times more likely to pick the right tech unicorn than you are to win the over-the-counter lottery. So. So why do people do it? Well, obviously you don't know any better, right? Well, you know now, you know that all the real money is investing in these private companies, these tech startups early at the ground floor. Now that you have this information, you're gonna go invest in your Uber and live happily ever after, right? Well, historically, just having the information wasn't enough. To invest in these private companies, you had to be what is known as an accredited investor. And the criteria for being an accredited investor are as follows. One, you have to either make $200,000 a year and have been making it for the previous two years and expect to be making it the upcoming year. Or two, you have to be worth a million dollars, not including your primary residence. So as you can see, that excludes pretty much everybody most people don't meet these criteria so it's one of those things where people that were already established and wealthy got access to the best investments to make them more and more wealthy while the poor just didn't even get to play the game you know the rich get richer the poor get poor but here's the thing things have really been changing and in this video i'm going to share with you ways that you can invest in these private startups without being an accredited investor. And the best part is it's all legal, so no jail time. So now that I've got your attention, please make sure you hit that like button to let YouTube know that you like this type of content so they know to push it out to a bigger audience. And it lets me know that you like my content as well. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Or if after this video and you check out the resources I provide, and you find some startups that catch your eye, leave those in the comments below too. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification icon. So let's get to it. So there's a massive shift in how companies are being funded in 2020. I'm gonna pull it back just a bit. So crowdfunding for organizations was traditionally for physical products via sites like Kickstarter or Indiegogo. So some popular Kickstarter names that you may remember are the Pebble Smartwatches, the board game Exploding Kittens, and those, those fidget cubes. And with all the campaigns, you had essentially two options. You could either give a bona fide gift, so it's a gift, you expect nothing in return, or you could basically pre-order the product, you know, before it's done. You know how pre-orders work. And in both scenarios, no equity or ownership was exchanged in that transaction. Now, here's where things get a little interesting. In 2012, the Obama administration passed the JOBS Act, the Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act, which didn't fully go into effect until 2016 because legislation is slow. But what the act allowed is for organizations to crowdfund for equity, so, you know, issue stocks 
up to $1 million per year to non-accredited investors. Now, this is huge for so many communities because this is the first time they had the opportunity to participate in the most lucrative investments out there. And on the flip side, it gave entrepreneurs another avenue to raise capital for their ventures because historically less than 3% of venture capital went to minority owned businesses. So many great ideas died before they even got a chance to get off the ground. This unlocked the potential for upward mobility in many communities and equity crowdfunding is getting more popular every single year. Now, there are limits to how much you're allowed to invest. So I'm throwing up this chart so you can see how much you're allowed to invest um, every year based on your income and a link down below so you can read the entire SEC stuff if you're a nerd like me and want to just read some legal jargon. Fun stuff, right? So I'm sure the question's there. Where can you invest in these companies? So there are only two platforms that I've tried myself. So those are the two I'm going to highlight in this video. The first one is called Republic.co. So the first time I discovered and used Republic was back in August of 2020. So not that long ago. That was when I really started looking into private companies for me to add in my portfolio because I'm pretty experienced, you know, with the world retirement thing and the public this and the crypto, all the other stuff. The last frontier for me was these private startups. So yeah, did some research. I discovered Republic. I actually didn't invest in anything on Republic until today, you know, as I'm filming this video, like today, today. And I'll describe it. The interface on Republic is what you would expect from any modern website, that, but I do appreciate the breadth of companies they have available on the platform. Like there's so many really interesting things and um, yeah, I'm not gonna say any names. I'll just scroll by them. Yeah, you can see what's over here. A lot of cool stuff. Sign up for an account and just really check it out and maybe invest in a couple yourself really good opportunity. And the second one I discovered was just a few days ago on uh, actually December the 5th, like it was really recent and it's called Start Engine. So this one came to my radar while I was on this newish social media platform called Clubhouse. Now I was in this interesting Clubhouse room and they were talking about, man, this is going to sound really bad. Um, they were talking about only fans reviews, but not that kind of only fans. I swear, like the, the artistic non X rated only fans, like, like the art, the art only fans. Um, but eventually the clubhouse room evolved into somewhat of a startup pitch that was designed to emulate a lot of what only fans is. So, but this platform actually bans all nudity. So it's kind of what we're talking about, like only fans, but none of that X-rated stuff. It's just for the art and for creators to monetize their audience. So, you know, and it was in an app form versus OnlyFans, which is a web app. So that way, having an actual like iOS app, you're able to send out push notifications when you upload a thing, you know, engage your audience. And I'm starting to get a lot of free advertisements to this platform that I'm part of. I'm not going to say the name. Just kidding. It's called Fanbase. And I'm actually in line to invest into their seed round. So yeah, actually use them so I can be rich in a few years. That'd be pretty great. So a couple more thoughts about Start Engine. They have Kevin O'Leary all over the platform. And I guess he's like, I don't know, he's like a sponsor or something. Like the, the Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary. So I guess it's to make you feel like a shark, which I guess kind of you are investing in equity in this private company so yeah okay fine it'll pass um thing about it is i guess like the website isn't as pretty as republic in my opinion which is kind of a surprise because start engine uses a lot of green and green's my favorite color as you can tell by the background that i choose and this this green shirt that i wear in a lot of my videos now that i think about it i really like green but yeah, another thing that was really interesting to me is both platforms allow you to invest using a credit card, which, yeah, I don't, I don't, my first thought was I don't like that because there are a lot of Twitter gurus going around right now telling people to use their credit card to invest in the stock market, which is honestly a terrible idea. Like you should never do that. I mean, I've done it myself a few years ago, but it was to get a sign up bonus while I was a zero APR card. I would never actually do it on a, yeah, no, like I'm not paying the interest rate, but 
Actually, this one's for credit card YouTube, now that I think about it. This could be a way to hit a lot of these credit card bonuses, like for manufactured spin, because you could be investing in companies you actually believe in, hit the bonus, get the credit card points, and then a few years later, maybe get a giant payout. Huh. Food for thought, just thought about that right now. But to wrap things up, like I really love the changes that are happening in the investing world just as a whole. It's like more than ever, financial markets are becoming more accessible to the masses. And I love that. Like Robinhood led to almost every brokerage to remove their commission fees. More people highlight financial literacy than ever before. And now we have these platforms changing how startups um, raise their capital. So I think we have a bright future as a society ahead. Now, 2020 has been rough, but I genuinely believe that in a year or less, we'll get to enjoy some of the light at the end of the tunnel. So just keep pushing through, you know, and do, do your best with the information I provided in this video. And if you have any thoughts or just want to say a hi or just press F in chat, leave that down below because YouTube likes seeing comments. Literally just, just press F, press F for respect and hit comment. Let's push up the engagement on this video. But yeah, until next time, you all have a great day and peace.